by the way on this one it's such a small painting I'm just using a uh, this is a synthetic brush and it's not very big it's number five uh, there's no use using a, a very large Kalinsky sable to drop in washes on something this small I'm certainly okay with using for myself using synthetic brushes so long as I'm not um, dropping in areas of paint which are really large which have to be laid in very quickly and using a lot of wet into wet on large areas uh, something like this it's uh, yeah there's wet into wet but on such small uh, areas that you don't need a lot of water the thing about Kalinsky of course it, it carries a lot of water has great capacity those brushes to carry water so it's perfect for for washes but they tend to be very you know very very expensive I've got a few and I use them I take care of them um, just because they are kind of pricey but we don't have to be purists about it um, if you find synthetic brushes work for you take advantage of that. Now I'm going to uh, mix up a color uh, burnt umber and some Prussian blue maybe some burnt sienna and just drop that in in certain areas where we've got uh, a trunk area chest reed of course is quite dark I'm using a very small watercolor set here. Uh, this one was made by Schmenke, which is German. And beautiful pigments in these. Now one thing I wanted to mention before I close off here is that, uh, you know, with such a complicated scene, something like this, or any painting, cannot be about everything. Uh, so certain details have to be suppressed and certain uh, focal points of course emphasized. Uh, you can see on this uh, painting on the left by Winslow Homer he was a genius at deciding what areas were going to become focal points and which areas generally in the background were going to be more generalized or suggested and he had a beautiful way of simplifying and um, simplifying things that he didn't want to draw the eye to particularly he could set a mood but he didn't really feel he had to do a highly detailed description of every area of a painting he had a story to tell in his watercolors and so he was very selective about what he said so to speak so I'm dropping in some of the uh, I don't have to you know finish these areas right away you'll notice when I'm dropping in some color to indicate the trunk the various trunks and branches I'm not really trying to fill in with solid color uh, because I know I may have to come back there and indicate other colors on other washes and overlap into the first mm, the first washes that I'm dropping in right now when they're dry or almost dry I can go back and describe the branches and the trunks and their texture a little a little more extensively a little more in more in slightly more detailed way